And we're back. More Demon Souls. Last time we left off and we had just finished. Um, what did we do? We rescued Yurt. We dropped the two chains and now we need to kill the gargoyles, I believe. Yeah, I think that's what's next. So now, going through this area, instead of just the gargoyles that'll come down... There should be one of those little, I don't even know what they're called, ugly centipede, caterpillar, freaking ugly dudes. Like right over here somewhere? Yeah, there he is. Yeah, I don't even know what you call those guys. Oh no! Take two. Yeah, so there's pretty much no point in fighting those guys. Just kind of run around them, go on up here. You're not going to get anything new from them, so. Oh, I can go down now, though. Because... Since I dropped those chains, that path will be unblocked. Might need to kill this guy now. Build up just in time for that. Yeah. Strange sign ahead. Whatever that means. This guy and a gargoyle to deal with now. Okay, he's gone. Land. That's where. Okay. Thank you. I don't know if I'll aggro that guy or not. Oh. I did. Holy cow. And I got the gargoyle on me. Get that dude. I get something good down here. I just don't remember what. So far, nothing. 
eyes. Eyes are always good. A ring of avarice? Is that normal to get here? That's freaking awesome. The gold mask. I gotta check it out. Is that what Mephistopheles wears? I can't remember, but that's kind of what it looks like. Does it have a special, like, ability? No. I'm pretty sure that's what it is, though. Hmm. What's out here? Is this where I came from? It is. Did I get turned around or did I already go in a circle? I guess I went in a full circle. Dude, screw you. I guess there's still nothing down here to do. Got him. Really? Nah. Okay, I think all that's left now is the boss. That was cool. I saw some lightning off in the distance. Well, there it was. Huh. Pretty neat. I don't remember that in the original, but I don't know why I would remember that little detail. Now I know there's an item that you kind of like go around the edge to get, but it must be a little further up when you go up that way. Oh, you can see the black phantom up there. Not looking forward to that. Ooh, or maybe this is it that I was thinking about. Oh no! Wow. Wow.
Oh my gosh. Ah! Run away! Ah! All right, after like five deaths, let's go to the boss. Well, I guess I still have to kill the Black Phantom before I get to the boss. But I'm fairly confident I can kill it, even though it's on the sketchy staircase. There she is. Where does she turn around? Okay. I might be able to get behind her. Ooh, I have the ring Avarice on too. Give me them souls. Oh, where's the backstab? That's alright, I killed her. 1250? That's pretty decent. Not enough for the level, but I'll take it. This. Yes. I remember this. The demons are near. What are you trying to say? Eight age spice. That's pretty decent. I don't need spices right now. I don't really cast any magic. But it's still a pretty decent pickup. So right here, there used to be a cheese where you could use your bow and shoot the gargoyle but it appears that you cannot do that anymore Alright, so we're going into this with half and late moon grass and some sticky white stuff. Wish me luck. Holy cow. 
cow. Why do you fly so far away? Holy crap. Hmm. Well, we're going to have to try that again. Minus this one black phantom, it's a pretty easy run back. It takes a minute to get here, but it's not the worst. She's on me! Oh man. I take back everything I said. I don't have enough healing items for this. Hmm. I'll try to kill her so I can get my souls back. Ha. Did she really not die? No way. Um Crap. Do I go back for my other souls? I really don't think I can kill the gargoyles without some more healing items. Oh, she died. Somehow. Yeah, there is an item down there. I knew I was missing something. 
How do I get to it? Do I really have to drop off of here? Kind of looks that way. I died? Okay, now how in the world? Ooh, there's a little ledge right here. No, there's no way. Okay. Rune shield and the rune sword. This is what Ostrava wields, I'm pretty sure. And it does magic damage, right? Yeah. Nice. Hmm. But where do I go from here? I guess I dropped down on this dude. Oh, okay. I'm back at this bottom area. This looks like freaking Lord of the Rings. Wow, this has been here the whole time and I never saw it. That's funny. Let's go back to the Nexus, repair our armor, and hopefully buy some healing items. I can forge weapons for you. Wow, I don't even have enough money to repair all my gear. All right. No interest, eh? I can tell you look into last one. I can forge weapons for you. Hmm. All right. So I have crescent moon grass. I have a few half moon grass. Really, what I need is like late and full moon grass. What's the hurry? Where are you off to? What do you mean, madam? So I can buy that from patches, I think. Well, we've long this. I can, but it's really expensive. I guess the late isn't too bad. I could buy like three of those. But I can also... If I go to the Shrine of Storms, I think I can get a talisman there. And then I can use my healing spell.
Let's try it. Nice. Two hit kill. Holy crap, that scared me. Half moon grass, nice. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. Easy killer. Gee. Oh my god. Oh shit. Okay, I might need a little practice. That did not go as planned. This guy was so easy. Why was the other one so hard? Where's my souls? Give me those. Yeah, he's got more health. Hmm. Well, he's dead now. Freaking archer. Um, I think there's another guy up here that can attack me. I might be able to kill this guy real quick. Oh, one hit! Nice! Freaking smashed him. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, oh. Oh, he got me. I think somewhere is it is this the talisman right here? I forget. It is. I can heal myself. That's incredible. It uses over half of my MP currently. But I can handle that. Nothing down there. Oh, wrong thing. Go kill these guys. What's up, buddy? Come on. Come on. Oh! 
Who shot me? Dude, I didn't even see that guy over there. I don't even know if I've ever been shot by him from up here. I think that was a first. There's something down here. I want to say it's like a key or something. I know it's important. You gotta watch out for this little trap right there. Don't want to hit that. Copper key. But I forget what it's for. I definitely want to go through this whole area and like kill all the enemies, get all the items, stuff like that. But since I'm here, there is a shortcut. Hmm. Assuming it's still in the game. It is. Regenerator's ring. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. He's gonna fall off. No, dang it. Oh. Cloud stone. Grave robber's ring. I forget what that does. Okay, harder for black phantoms to detect. Not bad. And this is the direction you would normally come from. If you don't do that little skip. And then over here, there's like a black phantom skeleton, dude. Come on, where's that backstab? I guess he's not a black phantom, he's just like a stronger one. For some reason I thought he was a black phantom. More half moon grass. And this is the boss for this area already. So, I guess we might have, we're here, so we might as well kill him. So, all you need to do, you need to hit this wound he's got. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, he hit me. Hmm. Dang. I had 7,000 souls, so I definitely want to go back and get those. So that's 3,200 souls. That's already like almost half of what I had. I've killed one of you before. I can do it again. Got him. Heck yeah. Soul remains. This is an... It's a falchion. I want to say it's like enchanted or something. Crescent. Yeah. So it, it does magic damage, right? Yeah, it does. Nice. Ooh. And I think that's all that's up here. Yeah, I think so. Oh, it's this. Souls. I think that's Sparkly the Crow's Tree up there. I forget exactly how you get to it. I'm at 4,800 souls. Let's try to go back to the boss. I know I can kill him. Pure Bladestone. <laughs> hmm. I feel like that's actually a rare drop. Either way, I'm going to put my bastard sword back on, and let's go kill this boss. You can hear the little chicken head. That's pretty funny. There we go. There he is. Oh. 
Oh my god, he almost hit, killed me. Um, is this a safe spot? I don't even know. Where is safe? This feels safe. It's not! Dang it! I didn't even recover my soul! I could have had 13,000! Oh no! I thought I had my shield out! Oh my gosh! I should have killed it earlier, I was just being stupid. Not good. Get away. You look. Get him one more time, it looks like. How did that hit me? Oh no. Get over here, heal. Alright, we good. Gosh. Get away. <laughs> He's not even a hard boss. I don't know why it took me so many times. But regardless, I did kill him finally. I don't even remember where my old souls are, but whatever.
Alright, I think I got all the items in here. Back to the Nexus. I'll take our magic memory to one, and then we got one more level we can do. Um, I kind of want to do faith, but I also kind of want to do strength. Hmm, maybe endurance even. If we do vitality, it puts us over 700 health. That'll be good for survivability. Yeah, let's go for it. Arta, may thy strength help the world. I'm honestly still really close to another level. It would probably be worth... Go ahead and doing that. souls here except for in the shrine of storms but we don't talk about that so now we see there's a dead body here um let me kill myself real quick. Well, yeah, I can be human form. It's fine. We find another dead body here. We find this guy here. I am indebted to you for your help in Latria. Without it, I would not have made it back. Now, I can go on with my work. And for that, thank you. Your work? What kind of work? What is it? I have no business with you. Not yet. Do not be concerned. Life is hardly as precious as one might think. Hmm. I don't know about you, buddy. Life is hardly as precious. So basically, this is Yurt, the Silent Chief. I rescued him in Latria. He was stuck in a cage. We come back to the Nexus and we find two dead bodies. Because he killed them. The first bodies we find are nobodies. But then later on, as we kill more bosses and come back... We find named NPCs that are killed because of him. We could continue on playing the game and lose these precious NPCs, or I could kill him now. And I don't want to lose my NPCs, so we're going to kill him now. Actually, let me... Get these equipped. Alright. Now he's a goner. So his weapon, I'm pretty sure, will go past shields. Yeah, it did. Hey! 
Well, I can't parry him. That's for sure. He can be parried, but I can't parry him. I'm going to try to parry him. Honestly, how did I not get the parry on that? There we go. Mephistopheles was right about me. This honestly was always one of my favorite armor sets when I played the PS3 version. I always thought the shoulders on it looked so freaking cool. So to get Mephistopheles, you have to kill Yurt. If he's alive, she won't show up. There's also some other conditions. I believe you have to be pure black character tendency for Mephistopheles to appear. But you also have to kill your... Hmm. Where is the maiden? There she is. Thou seekest the path, then touch the deep. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. Soul of the lost, withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted, so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So I think I want to upgrade my stamina. That way I can use this armor. Because it's freaking cool. Hello again. I'm keeping a close watch on you. Alright, so I need to get more moon grass so I can go back and kill the gargoyle boss. So I think I'm going to farm some souls to do that. I don't want to use all my soul items already. So I'm going to go up here, kill myself, go, my, go back to soul form.
and now that I'm in soul form, there's a couple things I need to do. Um, one thing is I need more arrows. I can either buy them from the blacksmith, or I can unlock Grave Robert Blodge in the Shrine of Storms. And I feel like I might as well go ahead and unlock Blige, because I'm going to need him eventually. My bastard sword actually does fairly well on these guys. But just for a basic hit, I feel like the club is better because it'll like demolish him. Look at that, knocks him straight down. Recover stamina. Alright. We good. Wrong thing. Oh well. So definitely want to kill these archers up here. I might as well kill this black phantom out here while I'm at it. Get some extra souls. Or I guess he's not a black phantom, but a black skeleton. Oh, he might get me. Holy crap, roll. Wow. That's the first time he got me. Black skeleton gonna die. Yeah. 
If you can kite that lunging attack he does just right, he's easy. I just messed it up earlier for some reason. So now let's go back up, kill these two archers up here and the other skeleton guy. kill that archer right there too um, but just for safety reasons I'm going to go ahead and put on the thief ring oh hmm that's not good yeah let's go ahead and explore a little bit I'm not gonna worry about the vanguard yet though Dude, where is he at? Dude, where'd he go? Did he freaking die? Like, what the heck? Okay. Oop. So this is how you get the sparkly of the crow, I think. Yeah. So you can drop items up here and she'll give you other stuff. But I don't have anything in particular I need from her right now, so I'm not going to worry about that. We'll keep going the other direction. Oh, hello. Compound longbow and light arrows. Hmm. My compound short bow is a plus two, and it only does three more da damage than the, my compound longbow. Both descaling with strength. But my strength isn't strong enough for the longbow. Interesting. Now there is another item. I think I have to get to it from up here. Yeah, right there. Um, how do I get? Oh, maybe I can go here. Okay. Nice. 
Moon Shade Stone. Interesting. So I've killed all the archers that are that can shoot at me. But I've got this vanguard. And there's those things that have been flying around in the sky. That can also Oh crap. They can also shoot at me. Which is why I wanted my thief ring. If I have my thief ring on, they can't see me. Um, get a crescent too. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh. Go ahead and get down here. That's not what I wanted. This is what I wanted. So basically, we just needed it down here. But I was gonna kill the vanguard in the process because why not? Because down here we'll find Grave Robber Blige. I just gotta get to him. Um, I can't quite remember how to get to him. I know there's a couple different directions to go. Oh, this is him. Okay. And I believe the copper key that we picked up earlier unlocks this gate. And currently, he sells quite a few things. Falchion, scimitar, shortbow, arrows, wooden arrows. I don't know what the difference is. Um, yeah. Pretty good stuff. This shrine was used in a ghastly ritual by an ancient tribe. They have long perished. Now the demons have put the souls to work. At least here you're killing things that are already dead. Lost skeletons and shadow lurkers. That's what I like about this place. Better than killing those poor soul-starved humans, right? Better than killing those poor soul-starved... Nothing suits your fancy? A bit of indulgence goes up. Yeah, so I've always been a pretty big fan of Blige. But my purpose for rescuing him was so that he appears in the next area. Um, I really feel like I should go ahead and try to kill this vanguard. Ooh, the Uchi Katana. Hmm. 
I'm really conflicted. Do I continue on discovering things in this area? Or do I move on to farming souls? I don't want these guys shooting at me this whole time. But I feel like I can handle the area in general. Unless they keep shooting me. Like that. Dude, you just took like half my health right there. I don't know this area very well. I've done that skip so many times, I don't really remember it. I'm pretty sure there's some like black skeletons around here somewhere too. Oh, there he is! Come on, buddy. I got you. Got me. Adjudicator Shield. Hmm. There we go. One more backstab and he's dead. Come on. There we go. What you got for me? Soul remains. You know, I've had a ton of those and I banked a lot of them and I don't even remember what they do. Okay, bait. Alright, yeah. Forget that. That's too much work. Ah! That was close. I have 9,000 souls right now. Oh, we got a gold skeleton. Drop anything? Just souls? 
Is he going to come back to life? I didn't get souls from him, did I? I guess I did. Hmm. Ooh. Let's heal up. Alright. Let's go! Another gold skeleton. Easy. Ah. Got another one. Bladestone Shard. Okay, here we are. Now we've tied back around to where that shortcut I took was. I thought there were, Oh, he is here! So every time you kill a boss, one more crystal lizard spawn will appear. So that's why that one was back there, right there. Alright. And that is the whole area completed, I'm pretty sure. Other than killing the vanguard. But I'll do that when I don't have to worry about the dude shooting at me. When I can equip my thief ring. And I only went to the Nexus so that I can reload this area. That way I can go down here and find this next little spot. And Grave, Lob Grave Robber Blige has moved down here now. Hello there, we meet again. You look terrible. Cheer up! Life is an adventure. There's somebody I ought to warn you about. A fella who lacks common decency. They call him Patches the Hyena. And he's the one that laid that trap for me. He's the kind of person who'd stab his own mother in the back. If you happen to spot him, you'd do us all a favor by putting him out of his misery. Have you been to the altar? Where the reapers summon shadows. What well, I think someone may be trapped in the lower cavity. I heard them praying for dear life. Pity the poor fool. He probably fell from one of Patch's old tricks. Pity the poor fool. So he pretty much is warning us for what's to come. But now he sells arrows, wooden arrows, light arrows, fire arrows, and holy arrows. All kinds of things. Got grass for us, spice. That's pretty much all I ever use them for. 
honestly, really, is the arrows. Because I typically use arrows on this next spot. Let me go ahead and buy some. This reaper right here. He is like the best farming spot. He summons all these little... I don't even know what they're called. But these big, tall, lanky, ugly dudes. But if you kill the reaper, all of these ugly dudes will die also. So you simply run right here. Aim. Shoot. Oh, hit him. Oh, missed two. Oh, crap. One more. Oh, I might not get him. Oh, no. Where's he at? There he is. Kill him! Oh, he got me! That wasn't supposed to happen. Let me try this again. And not be, um... Mentally incapable. Killed him. There we go. 4,346 souls for that. Plus the other souls I had right here. So you can also drop down right here and just like freaking kill him with like melee. But I always found that doing the with a bow was a little bit easier. And since I have the Reaper killed and all the other little minions he spawned killed, I might as well go ahead and explore this area, make sure I got everything. Oh crap. I think this is an illusory wall. Okay, guess not. I know there's one somewhere. Right here, maybe? Yeah, I knew it. But what does it lead to? I'm pretty sure there's like a black skeleton down here. Oh, dude, he killed me? Holy crap. All 
I really hope I don't die. There we go. I thought that was an item when I saw it. Alright, I need my great club. Go ahead and heal up. Let's go out here and see what we can get. And get my souls back. Man, where's my backstab? Dude, how? What? How to kill me? I had my shield up. Dude, no way. For some reason, this guy is a lot stronger. Two backstab, and he's not even half health yet. And I have the dude shooting at me. That's four backstabs right there. I need at least two more. Why is this guy so strong? Holy cow. Whoa, my gosh. I have 28,000 souls. I have to kill him at this point. There's no questions about it. But maybe I should go inside. These dudes that are shooting at me are freaking crazy. Now we need to find this skeleton. It should be close. There he is. Let's lure him out to this open area in here. There he is. All right. He's ours now. He's in our domain.
Wasn't ready. Run away. I'm ready again. How did it kill me? Holy crap. Now I have to figure out how to get those souls back. I feel like with 38,000 souls, I pretty much have to go back and at least level up. So my miracle capacity increased to 2, which means when I have 20,000 souls to spare, I can go back to this guy and buy the evacuation miracle. But aside from that, I really need to go back and kill those gargoyles. I still have a few souls remaining. Oh, I lost patches. Honestly, that makes sense because he's in the next area in the Shrine of Storms. Shrine of Storms. Not Latria. Um. Hmm. I suppose. Let's go back and get him. We gotta go in here, and there he is. Oh, hello again. Hey, don't turn a cold shoulder. I didn't mean to do you wrong, really. Come on now. We've got better things to fret about. That pit there is filled with treasure. But, uh, I'm having a little trouble getting to it myself. <laughs> Go on, take a look. There are more riches than you could dream of. <laughs> What's keeping you? Have a look at that treasure down in the pit. Then we'll think up a way to fish it out. <laughs> hmm, if you say so, man. What we got down here? Oh no! Hey, hey, don't hold it against me, eh? Take your time starving to death. 
Then I'll sell every last trinket of your corpse. <laughs> Freaking patches. So we got a black phantom down here we have to worry about. But St. Urbane is down here. Heavens, did you fall for that little devil's trap? Well, I did the same. He fooled me, and now I am stuck here. The reverberations seem to suggest that we are connected to the outside. A fearsome dark phantom stands between us and freedom. But have no fear. God will cleanse us of evil. Pray with me. Umbasa. You know, it's a little interesting. Most, like, monks and things like that, they don't live for materialistic things. Yet, Patches tricked him by saying, Hey, there's treasure down here. And he fell in. He said he fell for it. Heavens. Did you fall for that little devil? Well, I did the same. The reverberation. A fearsome... But have no fear. Pray with me. Umbasa. Alright. Let's try to kill this guy. Come on, you. Yeah! Come on. Dude, honestly, he looks like Grave Robber Bludge. Get him down a little bit further. I would like to try to parry him, but I want to make sure I'm in a safe spot. Not like that. Okay. Oh, roll, roll. Hey. Yikes. Come on, Saint Urbane, help me. Got him. Oh, it's you. Did you cleanse the world of the aforementioned phantom? God has chosen you. And for that we are thankful. Umbasa. Did he actually mention that phantom? I wasn't paying attention. God has chosen you. And for that we are thankful. Umbasa. <laughs> So, if we're in pure white tendency, that item is on the ground, if we can pick it up. And it's the Uchi Katana, I think? I forget. Some kind of weapon. The one for... Oh no, it's the Makoto, I think it's called. Whatever it is for the, um... Oh, what's his name? Sasuke? Or something? Alright, Patches. What you got to say? You. Hey, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean what I said. Well, a, a man's got to make a living, right? Here, look. I can make up for it. There aren't many humans like us. We need to stick together. I know. I have this as a token of my friendship. <laughs> Not bad, right? Oh, you tried to kill me. Thanks for the ring. <laughs> Come on. Let's be friends. What do you say? Sure. We need to drag each other down. Let's be best pals. Um. Hmm. Honestly. I need 20,000 souls 
for the evacuate spell. I could just kill myself now and farm the souls. Easy stuff. Just two little repetitions of killing the Phantom, or the uh, killing the Reaper, and I got my twenty thousand souls. Oh, I fell. This is why I can't do like no death runs of a game. I fall off the ledges way too easy. And here we have Saint Urbane. Thanks to you, I was able to seek refuge in this nexus. Now I stay here and pray, along with my disciples, for the heroes facing the demons. If you wish for benevolent protection in your fight against the demons, then bring me demons so I will cleanse them and create miracles. <laughs> So regeneration is also a pretty decent spell, but evacuate is what I'm looking for. If you truly are a disciple, then you must have a talisman in God's image. Heavenly miracles occur in Boletaria through the talismans. God has granted this accursed land a special power. It is God's way of telling us we must stand against the demons. Dude, his rope is glitching out. After the dark arts spread across the land, holy miracles were witnessed once again. The will of God is clear. We must defeat the demons, annul the curse of Boletaria, and purge them. Oh, I skipped it. As you know. Souls are a source of wicked power, emanating from the demons. King Alant was overcome by lust for such power, and has placed Boletaria in her present predicament. Old Frake and the Candle Maiden are no exception. We must defeat the demons, annul and purge the magicians who manipulate them. Old Frake and the candle. Man, don't she talk bad about my Let candle myself. maiden. Candle maiden is bay. What do you have to say now? I rescued the guy you so easily left down there in the pit. I, you have rescued his Augustus. I express my deepest gratitude. You have relieved me of a great illness. Oh, thank God. Ambassador. With His Holiness Saint Urbain back, the magicians will have to watch themselves. Thanks to His Holy Miracles, you brave battlers of demons will no longer be solely dependent on dark magic. Isn't it wonderful? Surely the demon slayers have awaited such an opportunity. Do you? I trust not. He is a depraved, vile man and he deserves I hope that an upstanding hero such as yourself is selective when making association by the way I highly recommend the companionship of the jovial Saint Urbane have you heard they claim that she and her loyal knight have become demons and lead a clan of degenerate miscreants in truth the rumors are surely unfounded there are all sorts of wrongdoers down there who would think up such nonsense. Yet, if the rumors are true, 
Then may she be eternally damned for her debasement of the Lord's name. Yet, if the rumors are true... Hmm. I don't like you, man. Thank goodness. The Lord has not forgotten me yet. For he has allowed me into the presence of Saint Urbane. I shall serve him and pray with him, and thus express my faith in God, Mbasa. I shall always be by Saint Urbain's side. That is the purpose for which God has put me upon this earth. I shall always be by Saint Patis. You know, this chick is blind. She doesn't know what's going on. But I respect her. So at this point, I really want to kill the freaking gargoyles. Oh my gosh, I barely got around him. Alright, so now I just need to run up and get past that black phantom again. This attack will be a backstab. items do I have? I have a few healing items. I did not buy more, which is what I intended to do. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I suppose I could use some pine resin. I couldn't really tell much of a difference with the sticky white stuff. fight you oh my god let me fight get up here well, 
this is not off to a good start. Got his tail off. And the other guy's here. Great. I'm dead. All right. So next time, I can go to Shrine of Storms, kill the Vanguard. Continue on and kill um, the final Archdemon in the Shrine of Storms. Or I can go to Valley of Defilement, kill the Leechmonger, and then continue on and kill the Dirty Colossus. Or go to Stonefang Tunnel, I can kill the Flame Lurker, and then easily kill the Dragon God. And if I kill the Dragon God, he's an Archdemon. I can go back to Volataria, go to 1-3, do some things there. So I have some options, but time will tell. I'll figure it out. But until then, I really appreciate you, and I'll see you next time.